Hey, what is up guys? Chunky Tush here, and today I will be doing a 1 to 99 farming guide, but before I get in, into anything in this guide, I'm going to be doing three or four parts of this guide, one for herbs, one for trees, one for fruit trees, and any other information that you might need. So, on the screen here, I have five different herb patch locations, and at the bottom I have a legend telling you what, um, what this is right here. So, um, the yellow dot on each image is uh, where you plant flowers, red is herbs, and blue is um, where you plant crops such as corn, tomatoes, potatoes, etc. Um, on the top image here, it is north of Catherby. Um, you can either teleport here using a Camelot tab, a Camelot teleport, or the Catherby teleport in the Lunar Spellbook. Right below that we have South of Falador. You can either use the Explorer's Ring 4, which you get from completing all the Lumbridge tasks, or you can use a Glory and, you, and teleport to Draenor Village, or you can use a Falador teleport and walk there, which is the most insufficient way. And right below that one we do have... Um, what I like to call uh, Canifus. Um, uh, it's actually called Port Something. Not sure what that is, but where this is, you can use the Ecto file to get here. Which um, I can't remember what quest you do, but it's from a quest. That's all I know at this point. But you do get that from a quest, and it does teleport you a little bit to the um, east of the farm patch. You can just use the Ecto file, and it'll automatically fill it up again and then you just run west and the farm patch is right here if you have ever done animal magnetism you know what I'm talking about you did have to collect a few dead chickens over here and uh, the last one well not the last one but um, north of Ardung um, you can teleport here using the Ardung cloak now the Ardung cloak um, there's a little bit of story behind that there's Ardung cloak 2 and 4 uh, those teleport you at the same place, but you with the Ardun Cloak 2, you can only use it once per day. And with the Ardun Cloak 4, you can use it any time. But with the Ardun Cloak 4, you do have to complete all the Ardun tasks, which is actually pretty hard. I think you need to have 95 prayer, a lot of 90 skills, and it's actually a pretty tough task to complete. And the last one, we do have the Troll Stronghold. Now, this one is very good. It, um, it you When you plant a herb, it never dies. You can only do herbs in this patch, but you do need to complete My Arms Big Adventure. And the, um, if there are no banks there, so if you do not um, have a lot of inventory space left, I recommend you do that. But there is a tool leprechaun there that you can have him note your things. And there is also a fairy ring there. The code is A G or A J R. If you are wearing, you do need to be wearing climbing boots as well, and have the Death Plateau quest done along with My Arms Big Adventure. Now, when you're skilling, of course, you want to make the most profit as possible. So I kind of did some calculations so I can show you guys the best way to get the most profit possible. And I picked out the best two herbs for profit. Now, Toad Flax, it does have a level 38 farming required. And the seed price is actually one-third of one herb price. So even if you don't, even if a, uh, even if a couple of patches die, you still have a great chance of making profit on that. And um, you don't have to really worry about losing any profit on that, except for using the super compost. Super compost is it's it's pretty much a must in farming, uh, so you don't have to check on your herbs. Um, there is a one in eight chance your herbs will die uh, with super compost, but it's a great thing to have. And most of my herbs never die. You can also use the fertile. Fertile Soil spell in the Lunar Spellbook at level 83 magic. Uh, it acts as a super compost. But while you are farming, make sure you dump. If you do have a bucket of super compost, make sure you dump the bucket on the patch first. If you do not do that, you will not be able to put the uh, super compost on after you plant the seed. But you can do that with the Fertile Soil spell, which is very helpful. And the last one we have here is Ranars. The seed price is 1.9k and the herb price is 2.7. So you won't make as much money if your herb does die. But the least amount you can get from a patch when you do have, um, when you do have, when it does grow is four. So if one of it dies and ne your next patch is uh you will get 8.2k. So that is pretty good. And guys, these 
prices are based on right now. Go ahead and look at the date below when this was posted and you will see when this is. I will try to update the prices as much as I can on this, but no promises. So um, after I showed you where all these spots are and what mo is the most private, we're going to hop on RuneScape and I'm going to show you guys some equipment that is very helpful in your farm runs and things that are a must. And I'm going to show you guys the fastest and most efficient way to do a farm run. Alright guys, we are now on RuneScape. My voice is kind of getting a little dry. I'm sorry if I uh, try to clear my throat a lot and I have been saying I'm a lot this video. I realize that, but it's kind of hard to say or hard to find what you're going to say when you're kind of a new video maker, kind of stuttering a little bit, but that's normal. So on the left of my inventory, I have uh, the equipment that I normally use during a farm run. Uh, notice I do have two capes, a spider cape and an Ardung cape 2. Ardung cape 2 allows you to teleport right next to the Ardung patch, which is a very sufficient teleport method. But unfortunately, with the Ardung cloak 2, you can only do it once per day. And with the Ardung cape 4, you can do it tw um, as many times you want per day, which is... Um, it's, it, do it does kind of suck that you can only do it once per day with the Ardung cloak 2 but it does make you strive for something such as the Ardung Cape 4 and it does make you want to get better skills. But the purpose of the Agile and the Spider Cape is just so your run lasts longer. Uh, same with the Boots of Lightness, but the Explorer's Ring 4 is a teleport right next to the Falador Herb Patch and the Falador Shield 3 kinda grants you some more XP while you're picking herbs from the um, Falador Herb Patch. So we're going to equip this now that I've kind of gone over that. And these Magic Secateurs, uh, they do grant 10% farm yield, which is uh, very important in farming. It does increase your chances of getting some extra herbs, and that it always does mean extra profit. You guys can refer back to the prices in this video, which shouldn't be too long ago. If you do add maybe one herb, that does kind of accumulate to more herbs, which you can use for herb lore or which you can use to sell or for your own personal use. But we do have those equipped now. I am doing Toad Flex because it's the most XP right now for me. The Mystic Mud Staff and the Runes are for my Catherby Teleport. Um, it does require 3 Astrals, 3 Laws, and 10 Waters along with 87 Magic. So I just kind of set that off to the side. Now this is the Ecto file I was talking about. This is another Teleport method which we will be using later in this video. And this Juju Farming Potion very extremely helpful it increases and it gives you the ability to have a chance to pick two herbs from one pick so you'll get two herbs um, and you'll actually get more herbs per patch uh, with the minimum of a four and the maximum of sixteen and yes I do use the fertile uh, the fertile soil spell which grants me the ability to kinda have a super compost and I did forget my nature and this spell is actually very cheap. It only does cost two natures, three astrals, and fifteen earth runes, which the Mystic Mud Staff grants you unlimited earth runes. So what I normally do for my first run, I gotta get my inventory organized really quick so it's easy and fast. Put my runes on the right and do that. Put that right there, and that's about it. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is going to the Ardung Farm. If you do not have this cape or the Ardung Cape 4. Unfortunately you will have to use the Ardung Lodestone which is a very short walk from where this is. You will teleport a little bit over to the southwest and you can just walk up to the northeast and it is right here. So if you are like me I normally do limps but I forgot to bring my seeds but you do get three limps every time you pick it no matter what if you even if you have the Juju Farming Potion. So we're going to go ahead and equip the Fally Shield 3 and the Magic Sezitors or whatever. And we're going to drink our Juju Farming Potion. And we're going to start to pick our herbs. Now, as you can tell, you get 38.5 XP each time you pick a herb. And hopefully, the Juju Farming Potion will go to into effect hopefully soon so I can show you guys kind of what it does. But once you're done, um, use that on that. I should probably use my Action Bar. Boom. And we can use one on that and plant your seed once you're done you will get XP for doing that make sure you have it watered or make sure you have super compost in it and make sure you have planted it sometimes I actually do forget to plant it and you can clean these using the new update which I'm not very fond of it kinda does take a lot longer when you used to be able to just spam click it and it would be done but once you have cleaned them 
use them on the tulip leprechaun and he will note them for you so you do not have to waste your time going to a bank next we will be going to the ecto file or the canifis file right here it does empty it but it does fill it back up for you unfortunately you do have to do a quest to even get in to canifis to go here even if you're level three you can't access this until you do the priest in peril sorry about that my throat's a little dry but just keep going west and you should arrive at your second farm patch your juju farming potion does go in effect for a while actually and I was actually doing catadine and there we go the potion allows you to recover a second herb I was actually doing this for a daily challenge and wow that did it four times in a row but go ahead equip this boom boom fertilize that put that in there and next we're going to be using our explorers ring 4 right click on it and go to the cabbage port just go ahead click on your compass so it'll be facing right and just go ahead and click up as fast as you can and you will run there I'm not sure how much profit these are I forgot what the seed price is but I'm gonna go ahead you do need a fairly high level for catadine I think it is 65 but uh, that's in another video so I'm actually gonna see what that is 14k I don't think that's profit actually but I'll check that out later so we are at our third patch and our juju farming potion is still in effect giving us uh, two herbs per pick and I am left so while I was lagging out I did only get six but we are going to use our super compost on that and this will be our last one unless you're doing the troll stronghold one use your Camelot or Catherby teleport and you will teleport right next to the bank I'm gonna go ahead and quickly clean these so we can get that done as fast as possible and not waste any inventory space like I said you do have a 1 in 8 chance of one of your herbs dying but none of mine did this run so I won't be losing any profit except for the runes that I used this will be the last and my client shut down alright guys we are back after a uh, client shutdown nothing better than a client shutdown but this is the last patch and we are done with that so we're gonna fertilize that soil nothing better than a good fertilized soil and we're gonna plant that seed and lastly we're gonna clean these herbs and give them to the leprechaun for a finished farm run you can do one farm run every 70 minutes every herb takes 70 minutes to grow no matter if you're doing guams or torstals or 1 to 85 that is all herbs take 70 minutes to grow. You do have a 1 in 8 chance of one dying. This has been part 1 of 1299 Farming. Uh, this will be the Herb Lore Edition. Um, tomorrow, or yeah, tomorrow I'm going to be doing a Tree Edition. Um, a lot better XP than this. And it does take a lot longer to grow, unfortunately. But it's still pretty good XP. Uh, it is pretty expensive, depending on what method you use. I'll be going over a lot of different methods that... I use to get farming. I am currently 84 farming, hoping to get 85 in a few days. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe if you are not already, and make sure you watch my um, uh, part two and part three of my 1299 farming guide. Please hit that subscribe button, and don't be afraid to give this video a thumbs up, maybe even a comment or a favorite. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys later.